So now we get to cable it. And then we're basically done. For the hardware, that is. I've got hours of operating system installation and programming to do on this thing. So um, I am far, in, in the grand scheme, I am far from done. So go ahead and we'll drop our cage back in here. Yep, that's the wrong screws. It's actually these. All right, so that puts our auxiliary drive bay, drive cage back in. Okay. So this particular case doesn't have a USB 2.0 header on it, which is perfectly fine because the 2.0 ports on this are actually not going to be really usable for the most part because this, uh, when we rack this, the front of this is actually going to be about seven feet in the air hanging on the wall. So that's okay. And I am back. So, uh, you'll notice in the uh, previous video, um, my uh, battery died in my phone. So, a <laughs> uh, little recharge time. So, uh, no time for you. Oh, uh, about four hours for me. So, anyways, so we're going to go ahead and you see I've got the power cables laid out for the... Um, power supply here so all right so like I said before this unit is totally modular so what makes it nice is we only plug in what we have to plug in so we're gonna go and plug our main board power supply in or our main board connector in and we're gonna lay that over here for the moment um, because of the layout of this power supply so our um, SATA ports are right below our motherboard, so I'm going to go ahead and hook that up here real quick. And we're just going to go ahead and use SATA 3 since it's got to go all the way over here and around. Okay, so... All right, and then you guys can't quite see, so I'm gonna push this up just there. Yeah. All right, so right, yep, right here. Okay, so we got one SATA power connector there, one SATA power connector there, and the other one will just lay down the side right there because we're actually not gonna need it, so. Just gonna make sure those are nice and tight. Good deal. Awesome. Okay, so then this will then lay around here like so. And it will lay there to kind of nice and neatly without any issues. Um, although I do think I'm going to reroute this. And that way that just lays over the top helps hold that down okay all right up next <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and finish up uh, the further side towards me so we're gonna put our SAS to SATA cable in 
So uh, the nice thing about this cable is they've already gone ahead and marked it for us. So it's port one, two, three, and four. Um, so, and of course, more uh, most SATA SATA ports are actually labeled uh, zero or starting with zero. So um, <laughs> one is actually going to be zero. Two uh, will be one, and so on and so forth. So this guy goes right here that and we get the SATA slots on our SATA ports are on the back side here and we go in just like this so I we'll actually have Now, let me make sure we plug this in in the right order because otherwise it makes it really hard to know what drive is offline. If you have a failure, if um, say your drive zero is in slot three and your drive four is in slot one, uh, it doesn't do you a lot of good. <laughs> so, unnecessarily makes your life difficult is what it does. So there's that. All right, so now to go ahead and hook up the rest of our power here. So let's see, we've got, all right, so we need CPU power here. So I'm gonna close the front of this real quick so I can go ahead and slide it over. All right, there we go. All right, so. So, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and do our CPU power here. All right, so this particular board has uh, two uh, CPU power connections here. So one is, get that back down in there. So we have our eight pin and our four pin. Um, we don't technically need to hook up um, all of them. <clears throat> um, our single eight pin uh, will be enough to handle it without any issue. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up both of them. Uh, mainly the reason being is if we ever decide we wanna change the chip out in this and we wanna put a, say for example, we put a, um, a 7202 um, 64 um, core chip in it um, as an extreme example well that's about a 220 watt chip um, and yeah you're gonna need uh, every last connector um, for power that you can get on this thing so all right so there's that one all right so we got that's one and we're gonna slide it down here on the side. And that's gonna be this guy. And this is two. <clears throat> if you ever watch uh, J2 Sense, for example, uh, he's always talking about modular power supplies and you know, cable management and all this other stuff, um, which is cool, which is a bonus. Um, nothing wrong with keeping your cable management nice and neat and clean. Um, oops, I think 
Nope, it didn't. That's just the way these connectors are. It's not. I was thinking it was double locking. It's not. So, okay. Um, and he used to like likes the the wrapped cables. Um, so you buy this, take the factory cables uh, that are like this, and basically toss them, and then buy uh, third party cable wraps that. Uh, keep it nice and separated and everything. So instead of like this where you've got the wires um, They're actually uh, wrapped in pairs um, It's a little neater. It's a little prettier. Um, it's cool for game rigs um, Where aesthetics are kind of a thing um, for this uh, Nobody's gonna see it honestly, so <laughs> It really doesn't matter so Okay, then we got our one of our VGA cables. So this one is one of our PCIe Express. Uh, power cable. So this one's actually going to go down here in this little white connector. Um, this adds additional uh, PCI Express power uh, for your board. Mainly it's for in case you have um, say uh, high-end graphics cards or something like that that require additional PCI Express power input. Um, that's what this guy is for. Um, we don't really have that issue, but I like um, on these systems to go ahead and hook everything up that can be hooked up already. So then that way if you go and you start adding stuff into it later on down the road, you don't have to go, oh, why is this not working? Oh, we don't have enough power. Why don't we have enough power? Because the, all the optional stuff isn't plugged in. Plug the optionals in. Um, we're not Dell. We're not HP. We're not going to, we're not paying extra for... You know the extra options at some ginormous price because you know this is a custom build so i'm going to give you a heads up i'm going to throw hp and dell under the bus a lot because um i work on a lot of dell and hp systems and you know they th seem to think they're the kink they're the you know creme de la creme when it comes to everything well Sorry guys, you're not. But you can keep thinking it all day long. Um, I mean, some of their server stuff is really cool. Uh, I personally don't like it. Um, I guess it's far too proprietary. So, and that's our graphics card. And let's see, and then that's gonna have to come over here like this. So we can keep it out of the way, so that way it will clear when we put the lid on. Okay, so there's that. One more here. And this is our motherboard power cable. Now you notice that I don't have a lot of like little hidey holes and everything like I did on the other machine for backspacing cutouts and stuff like that for all the cable management. So. Um, the nice thing with these higher end power supplies is all the all the cables are already pre-wrapped, so we don't have to worry about too much. So, <clears throat> uh, there you go. That's it. We're wired for sound. So, okay. Well, that's basically the build. Um, not too hard. Uh, not anything too, uh, super crazy. Um, you can l notice by looking in here, we still got lots of room to put stuff in. I mean, we've still got four more fan headers. We've got, um, all of our PCI slots are still available except for two because one's being blocked by this and the other one's being used. Um, and we still got, you know, four more dim slots in here. So we could go eight channel memory if we wanted to, um, which would be insanely fast <laughs> but 
like I said, we're not, this machine isn't going to do that kind of workload, so we don't have to worry about too much. So, all right, so next up is going to be the uh, OS installation part of it. So, um, see you on the next one.